Yo, 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 yo. You rocking with the fresh, it's the cruise review. Back with the Louisville lip. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> had yeah. to add something new in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the flyest discussion out of flushing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I did that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That threw yeah. me way off right Straight there. Straightened up. <laughs> yeah. Switching it up for him, you know what I'm saying, on the real. But now nah, we back with another unsigned artist review. And this artist is straight out of Patterson, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Got, I got a lot of history in Patterson. I, I actually got hit by a car in Patterson. New Jersey. Nigga tried to, I always said if I got hit by a car, I was going to try to jump. That's what I did. My <laughs> ass still got hit. You know what I'm saying? But nah, this is uh, um, an Afro-Peruvian artist. Yeah, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Name uh, Stack Federal Dollars. You know what I'm saying? The power city of Patterson, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, close to close to uh you know what I'm saying? The bricks or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Patterson is, you know, it's a little bit smaller than, than Newark, but not too sm so much smaller. But, you know what I'm saying? Patterson, Patterson rough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's one of the roughest parts of New Jersey back in the 90s. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah, is man. It, is, it, is it rougher than, uh, what is it, New York, New Jersey? The Newark, uh, nah, ain't nothing, ain't nothing worse. <laughs> nah, ain't nothing rougher than the bricks. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's close, but nah, ain't nah, ain't ain't too much. You know what I'm saying? It's parts in New York that ain't rougher than the bricks. You know what I'm saying? Man. On the real, yeah. I think it's an album. Yeah, I think he just on this one. I, I believe he just sent us some records. He do got a um, he do have a project that he put out uh back in I think. 2022 okay you know what i'm saying i can't i can't think of the name of we'll have to you know get the name at the end but yeah but yeah he, yeah, he just he just sent us a couple of records on yeah he just sent the, us a few records you know, you know in the in the email so we're gonna we're gonna review those and uh you know and check it out sometimes sometimes that's the best thing to do yeah especially like when you just send it in without us, send, uh, you know, without you sending in the whole project, because you, you know, you able to afford your best records. Yeah, absolutely. That, you know, that represent you the best way. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes that's the best way to do it. Yeah, and you know, know what I like about it already is that he gave a a, a bio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and detail. Yeah, mm -hmm. he gave detail about you know what he is, you know, where he's from and, you know, all of that. So you want to sign artists, man, you take take heed. You know what I'm saying? I don't, let me uh, show y'all a little bit. He gave details so you can see, so we, you know what I'm saying, can scroll down so we can, you know, say a little bit about you. So, you know, you want to sign artists, you know, do it just like this when y'all send it in, man. Give us, you know, something about, you know, where you from, what you represent, you know, a little bit about yourself, your music. You know, yeah, and what you get towards, but yeah, this this is the this is the correct way out to do this. So, yeah, like uh, Bro said, we just gonna jump right into it, man. Um, I'm gonna get into this Ghost '97 Fabian Kids. Okay, check it out. Yeah, yeah. Yo, soup, man. Yo, y'all gotta chill the Casamigos, man. Y'all drinking that like water, man. Yo, hold, hold tight, man. Let me say something right quick. This '85, man. You know what I'm saying? We not combining Adidas tracksuits with Nike kicks, man. Fuck out of here with that. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> now I'm speaking in this thing is broken English. Verbalizing visions with gold metal gymnasts. Off the alley, you in the coop. Chickens get swooped. Hit them with the swoosh if they ain't fucking with the whoop. Actually, uh, um, that was actually a dope record, man. I didn't know, I didn't know what to expect, you know. Like um, coming out of Patterson, New Jersey, you know. I know it's, you know, you know, on the East Coast, so you know. I mean, you kind of got a um, maybe an idea, but what the 
with the music out now, you really, you really don't know. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one of the things that stood out to me the most, I think, I don't know if there was another guy that was on the record on the second part. He kind of remind me of, um, what is it? Uh, not Geechee Sway, but what's the other one? Is it Geechee Sway or is it um, um, the one that can't blow? I know you talking. Not about. the one that. Um, you know, they got the um the real Yeah, the real up 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 big it big it boom with the Yeah, yeah, not him, the other one. Yeah. Is that is that is, is, is the other is, one get you sway? Yeah, it is get you Yeah, sway. yeah, yeah, that's who he is. Raise the blades, cut back, we build pyramids. So be chain on the plate, this the golden dish. I'm about to get it lit, I really got your fix, mom. I'm a baby and kid, like who they play with. Well, yeah, yeah, that's who he. That's his vocals. That's that's Check who he. Boom, five, yeah, yeah, not him. The, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The other brother. That's that's who he remind me of. The second dude. Yeah. But um, yeah. Gifo, bass drop, play it to your tape pop, tape pop, perfect smile, looking like it's Photoshop. The last call was the last call. I, I mean, the sound of this is going back to that, uh, you know, that boom bap, the original underground type type hip-hop that you know what i'm saying that we always showcase on this particular show yeah you know what i mean so that was that was it, it was definitely dope man you know uh the production on it i mean everything uh the process of how they recorded too was very professional and yeah. that's another uh key too uh, all the up and coming acts uh making a music and putting it out there is that the way it is recorded that yeah. makes it stand out even more yeah. you know I, I give you a perfect example you know you know not to be too long-winded but um i've been watching the um the new blue da vinci episodes on uh i think camp camp capone okay news and he was talking about that how around the time when he was with BMF, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think he, he brought, when Jeezy came around, he was telling him like, yeah, we, you know, they was asking me why we needed to be in these big studios and paying $1,200 a session and all this. I was like, cause we could, cause we competing against all these major labor artists. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So you need that, you competing, you need that, that big professional sound. Absolutely. And with the, um, the programs and things like that, you don't really need to be in a twelve hundred dollar studio. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got guys that are you. I mean, not a twelve hundred dollar studio. Let me rephrase that: a studio that costs twelve hundred dollars a session. You can still have a great studio that that can get you that professional sound. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's more it's more accessible to up and coming artists nowadays than it was back then when we was coming up you know what i mean so um i guess we what we do five for uh the unsigned act so yeah. i would i would probably go as high as i don't know maybe about a four and a half bro yeah i mean it sounded it, it sounded good to me you know i think okay. the lyrics i like how he it, uh implemented his culture in there too yeah. December 25th, overthrowing the capital, no queremos negociar, dame la libertad. Yeah. With the, with the, you know, with the lingo, and uh, he didn't, he didn't overdo it. He just put a little, you know, he just put a little spice in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I think, I, I, I think it's, yeah. That's yeah. What's up. How you feel about it? Yeah, I, you know, I really dug it, man. I, you know, here's one thing I would say to do, man. Listen up, you know what I'm saying? Because this, this includes you and another person, man. It's really, you know what I'm saying, a, a close family member of the cruise with you. Mm -hmm. I would say, man, take you a trip over that bridge, over to Verrazano, you know what I'm saying, and, and go to Brooklyn. Go see the Bad Seed. Mm. Shout out Bad Seed, you know what I'm saying, on the rail, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Skinny Biggie and all of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I think, I think, you know, the only, my only thing about 
this, you know what I'm saying? My only disregard was I believe the mix down might have been a little bit too high on the vocals, just a little bit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I think the bad seed could really take you under his wing, you know what I'm saying? And and, and really, 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 you know. Uh, Mentor? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, yeah, be be a really mentor, cause I think I think both of y'all fit in the same pocket. You know what I'm saying? When it came on, it kind of reminded me of Bad yeah, Seed. I was like, hold up, is this you know, <laughs> you know, is this is little brother or what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I, you know, yeah, you know, I, I really think I think that would be, you know, a, a you know a good thing, man. You know what I'm saying? If if, if the Bad Seed is up for, which I don't think he would disregard, you know what I'm saying? Um, because there's a lot of potential. But, yeah, I, I really think that that should, you know, and if we can be a help, then, you know, we'll, you know, we, we'll try to do that. We'll, we'll tag the bad seed into this, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he, he can hear, you know, but um, yeah, I think that would be a good deal. Other than that, everything was, you know, up front for me. You know what I'm saying? Everything was, you know, everything. It, it, I just think the 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 vocal pitch might have been a little bit too high. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is which is good because you don't want your music pitch to be higher than your vocals. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah, we're drowning it, out. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want to be sounding like a familiar artist around <laughs> where we at. <laughs> you know. I ain't gonna say no name. Oh, but hey, I got some shit for you later on about that too. Okay. Yeah, but I, but now, but I, 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 I would say this. Nowadays is different. We talking about back in our era because it's much different now with artists now. Yeah. Trust me, I didn't yeah. heard some stuff, bro. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. yeah you know. That's way better than what we was. You yeah. know, around the time we was doing, I, I you know. Yeah, I, yeah. absolutely. Because, you know, you got to think about this. And, and this is to, you know, this is to all the artists, unsigned artists. When, you know, you just can't think about your records and when somebody's listening to it. You got to think about when it comes time for you to do a show. You definitely don't want your, you know, your pitch to be higher than your music when you're doing the show. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's when all kinds of distortion comes into play when you, you know, you get too close to, you know what I'm saying, your monitors and, and all of that comes into play. You, It don't sound good. So, you know, um, you really want to be careful, you know what I'm saying, with your pitches when it comes to your mix down for sure. You know, that's a very important feature when it comes to it. But, you know, I'm not saying it... It was, you know, incredibly bad or nothing like that. I, I think everything sounded good, but you can all, you know, there's, there's always a room, room for, for, you know, yeah, improvement. improvement, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. it can be better, but yeah, I think, you know, I think I will run, you know, maybe a four and a half too on okay. that. Yeah. I think, I think I would, I would run it like that as well. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So, uh. Let's get into this next record, which is called Family. Okay. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I, I understood a couple words, but I don't, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you, you, you would think bro Spanish. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I get, yeah. I get mixed up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I mean, I might have some like yeah. down on my dad's side or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere in there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't know. But, yeah, yeah. You know, so far as I know, I don't. You know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. but yeah. But I mean. That was that. I mean, it was still a still a dope record. I mean, it flowed good, Absolutely. even though I didn't know what he was talking about. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it it's in line with um, you know that uh, you know that reggae tone type of style. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that was more on the on the hip hop side of it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't necessarily like reggae tone. It was just he was just 
speaking it in his uh you know native tongue or whatever yeah yeah you know what i'm saying but i mean i think i think everything you know so far as the uh the structure of it i think that was a that was a jay-z beat yeah I believe. yeah you know i guess it's you know like a freestyle sort of or or or, or a song structure over uh, instrumental mm -hmm. but i mean yeah i think you know i would i would give it i'd give it a solid maybe a solid four i guess okay you know what i'm saying yeah yeah yeah, I mean, mira papito. <laughs> you know, let me let me let the Dominicano side out of me come out on this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bull head slick and all of that. Let me let me let me get into uh let me get into my my Manny from Scarface. Go yo. <laughs> no. Oh, that was dope. That was dope. But here's the thing. Let me let me let me let me get into my A and bag real quick. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do something like that, there's a whole lane that's wide open for that. You gotta get into some capital punishment records, bro. This Rivers definitely ain't diving in that bag with like he should be. Uh, let's just be all the way honest. You know what I'm saying? Mm. There's, there's a whole lane that's wide open for that that people want to hear. You you gotta really think about all the big punt fans that you know are just waiting for somebody to take you pick up that torch and run with it. You excuse me. You got all the potential to pick up that torch, bro, and to run with that lane. Do it. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said on the first record. You know what I'm saying? Yo. It, it's so much potential. You know what I'm saying? Bad the bad seed. Hey man, run run with this. Cause people wanna people wanna hear this. Especially, you know what I'm saying, people up north. They wanna hear records like this. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that uh uh you know sex symbol. You know, when it comes to hip hop, and ain't nobody running with that, you know what I'm saying? With that, you know, can speak a different language on record. Nobody's running, especially, you know, because everybody's geared to drill and all of that right now. Yeah. So, you know, on the boom bap level, ain't nobody unsigned definitely running with that. You got that wide open, bro. Yeah, nah. But so not on the boom bap level. Yeah. On, on the other level, like, what, what, what's the dude name? Bad Bunny and Bad all this Bunny, shit. yeah, but he, he, <laughs> he yeah, ain't they, doing boom bap. Nah, ain't, ain't nobody doing it in a boom bap way. So, you know what I'm saying? That is wide open, bro. That whole lane, you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's like NBA basketball with, you know, they leaving the lane wide open for, you know, LeBron to come through and just hammer it. It's wide open, bro. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I think, you know, and it's not to take away from, because it was that, was, that was a dope, you know, uh, entry. But just imagine if you did that over, you know, if, I mean, we're going to be doing, you know, mixtape records. Imagine doing something over, over a capital punishment record, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a player. You know, the, the original I'm not a player with the Ohio uh, players singing in front oh, of. Oh, yeah. Whoo! Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the unsigned artist doing something like that? Like what you just did over this, over over something like that? Yo. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, what's the name of that song? I can't even think of it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, 100%. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Puerto yeah, Rico. Yeah, yeah, with Tony, Tony yeah. Sunshine. Toma. <laughs> man, can you imagine? Can you imagine what he did on this, on that record, right now? It would be wide open, bro. You, man, you know what I'm saying? You have all, you know, all the women. You have, you, you have them anyway. 
Cause ain't nobody doing them. You know what I'm saying? But you'll have all the the boom bappers, you know, niggas that's really into boom bap. You'll have them too. Like I said, bro, it's wide open. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I wanna I, I got a challenge for you. I wanna hear you over the hundred percent. Do something over the hundred percent and send it send it back in. <laughs> what you just did on this, do the same thing but do it on a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? And send it back in. And, and and see the see the response that you get on both of these records. I guarantee you, bro. I can I guarantee you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's me stepping in my A and R bag. You know, <laughs> I, I know what I'm talking about. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I got an ear. I got a hell of an ear, bro. Yeah. Been having it for years. Or you know? or he he can do this too. He can take that and um he got a producer and remix that record. Remix you know, the record. You know how they take it. And yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? Uh, update it. Update it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, up, update that. You know what I'm saying? E even, you know what I'm saying? The watch out now from the B-Nights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> update that. Well, I 50, 50 done that with uh, Post Malone. Remember that record? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Straight up. But, I mean, that, that lane is wide open, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I really, I really dig that. You know, so off, off of that, the production was even better on this one. So, you know, even though it was a mixtape record, I still give it a, uh, I give it a 5.0. Mm. Just off the element of, you know, the fact that that ain't nobody, ain't nobody diving in that bag, bro. You know what I'm saying? That lane is wide open, straight up and down. So, let's get into this next record. Let's see. Crime Side. On the crime side, grew up on the crime side. Staying alive was no job. I grew up on the crime side. Grew up on the crime side. Kind of remind me a lot of like a, um like a terminology record. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That would have been like a nice little feature right there. Yeah. To have term terminology on that spit, but yeah, that kind of that's a very um undergroundish type vibe right there, man. With the with the insert of Raekwon and the scratches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like taking it back to the essence. Um, I really don't have too many takeaways from it, man. I, I, I think, I mean, this record was what it was. It was just a uh, one of those vintage hip hop records. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, for me, uh, I would give it mm, probably a three point seven eight oh, on yeah. the on the um. Uh, Unsigned tip. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, are you? Yeah, I think this was an album record. Mm hmm. You know, um, it just fit in one of those slots off the album. You know what I'm saying? It, um, everything was was pretty much on the up and up. You know, the verses was definitely a great attribute. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I, I thought it was produced well. I thought it was, you know, lyrically um, said well. Everything sounded great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but one of those, you know, album cuts, you know, not a throwaway, but, but more like a throw in, I guess, so to say. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, you know, I don't really... There's not too much detail to really put to it. I thought he did an excellent job. Excuse me, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 pretty much it. I, I would I would go I would go more for like a 4.2, 4 4.3 4 on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But no, I thought I thought it was an excellent job. You know, there's really nothing to really add to it. You know, uh, you know, produce really well, well produced record. Yeah. But um, let's see. Yeah. Um, we'll get into this 
next record, which uh, was played a little bit before. I'm talking to you. Let's see what this is about. I'm talking to you. Come on. Yeah, I got a, I got a couple words for this record. Um, first, um, stadium, stadium record. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's one. Then um, two. This will probably be a great record for like some type of soundtrack to a a movie or a, mm -hmm. or a show or something like that. Yeah. Well, you know I like saying? real sports center. Yeah, yeah. It just it just gave me those type of, of vibes. I mean the um the quality of it was great. Yeah, you know it was it was it was recorded. You know what I'm saying very well. Yeah, you know whoever did the mixing and the, the uh, engineering did a great job. Mm -hmm. um, kind of remind me of. What was that 08 or probably what 06 08 like like those records Kanye was doing mm -hmm. when he was making the big big stadium type type music you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. but um you know I like how he took the insert of uh I, f I forgot the name of that artist but you know what I'm talking about the um I'm talking to you that insert in it yeah that was that was cool, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, I think I would get this probably with the quality of it, everything, maybe, maybe a solid, solid four. Yeah, man. You know what I'm I, saying, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you alluded to the right, you know, um, placement towards that as far as stadium. I think mm -hmm. that was the, you know. A correct placement on it, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was a a great record, uh, greatly produced. The lyrical aspect was there. The cadence was was wonderfully done. Done an excellent job on that record, man. This is, you know, a definitely a, a you know a record that is is for a music director of a movie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, or or, or a show. You know, definitely. I could see this, you know, maybe being played on a, um, a Godfather of Harlem or, or, or a Snowfall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, even a high priced movie like Creed or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bottle from a coat to a diamond. Crocodile skin is Hermes when I'm rhyming. Keep a bad zebra stepping in ostrich. A couple ill flamingos wrapped in foxes. Give yeah. You know, you done an excellent job on this, man. I, I go as, as high as five. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This 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 can not only get the attention of Boom Bappers, this can get the attention of, you know, uh, you know, high priced coke sniffer white people. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, Wants to be in the club off that techno. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you could probably, you know, get somebody to produce this into one of them techno records, bro. It makes some money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of one of them one of them EDM uh, DJs. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you know right. What I'm saying? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 probably make make you some money off of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I'm in my A and R bag in many ways, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up and down. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I, I thought it was a, a a good quality record, man. You know what I'm saying? You, great work. It ain't really for me, you know, much for me to go into, bro. It really ain't, you know. You're doing, doing an excellent job. Um, let's let's try out 
another record. Let me see what we got here. Is this number five? Number five, yeah. Okay. Uh, Relentless. Let's check this out. Okay. is governed by rectangles the more you rabble then the more freedom you entangle make profound decisions when you're extremely driven you become insurance upon any collision they ride when the sun's out rain make them drip at the wheel small crashes could be a total not worthy to reconcile niggas that kill you if they're not added to the division it's easy to be subtracted be ready for the incision most of us got right off some wrong shit that's the balance of life some time to scale off of it the crime side blessed us lessons no losses now the tables turn reverse it's a perfect record to end off with, man, because to me, he was he was in the pocket on this record. So far as on the side of appealing to, I guess the mass. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you got your you got your underground appeal for the real listeners out there that like that you know, lyricism and this and that. But a record like this can give you overall and and, and take you to oh shit. Yeah, okay, my bad, my bad. It's my, it's my sports fox update, my bad. Perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah, but I think, you know, this record can take you to, you know, other places than the first record we played couldn't. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I was watching the, um, I don't know if you peeped it, bro. I, I'm pretty sure you did. The new cannabis um, oh, interview. Yeah. Well, well, um, that's a that, that's a very, that's a, that's a very good interview, by the way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't seen that, definitely check that out. But, you know, he was talking about uh, in that interview, his record, see, he was like, I mean, you know, cause uh, what's the one of the brothers on there was I forgot his name. He was telling them like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I needed you around that time because as I got older, you know, I was screaming over Brian McKnight records. Yeah, like yeah. why? You know, like I was doing wild shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, cause I just wanted to rap. Yeah. But there's a difference between wanting to rap and making a solid record. Yeah, like, absolutely. like, 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 you don't have to be so rapidly rap yeah. all the time. Just, just, just make the correct record where it needed needs to be at. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't be so rapidly rap on this record that you would like the first record we kicked off with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like knowing knowing your place. Uh, whenever you. Uh, you know, record your, you know, your songs or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I would, I would, I, I would go high as probably a five on this one, man, because I think this can, you know, this can really get the attention, especially uh, quote unquote radio. You know, he didn't. He, I don't think he cussed on it. Mm -hmm. I don't think he wasn't overly violent on it, but mm -hmm. it still had that. That sound that is very uh, in line with what radio is playing now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I thought that man, he, he done an excellent job, man. Um, it sounded like something off of. Uh, uh, a Jay Z kind of album to me, mm, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like a reference record, <laughs> mm. you know. Um, it, it ain't too much to add, man. This, this this is really good work. I just think, you know, you need something to really back you, something behind you, man. Some something like a, you know, a mentor, kind of plug like the Bad Seed, or you know, just a producer, you know, that got some season to him to really you know, push you out a little bit more. But, you know, other than that, man, you, you know, everything is on the up and up. You know, um, I think you should really dig more into, you know, 
the bag of reggae tone because like I said that 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 is wide open as far as the boom bap goes um but yeah man you on the right track you on the right track man you, you done some good work you know what I'm saying on the rails but I think for that I, I'll probably go with a five too man because I mean this this can this can go a lot of places you know like bro said you know this can be commercial radio right here mm -hmm. you know so yeah excellent job man seriously it ain't too much to really you know add to it but um i think it's one more track i think it's stack i believe is the name of this record oh uh, you gonna you gonna give them a bonus yeah we'll give, we'll give them one bonus you know okay what? we'll see what what it does okay seven Peruvian coat converted to crack. 85, 50 pins, boy, we cover the map. Phoenix out the flames, other slums of Jersey. Liverpool Mark Felix, pressure Mike's no mercy. Wrote hymns of freedom while dealing with bondage. Became a prophet, giving the devil supreme logic. Presented from Machu Picchu to a cave in the east. Emerged from the dark with features that of a beast. Lashing ghost throats, taking tongue for souvenirs. Let me speak, there's nothing for you to keep. Let me speak, these diamonds and jewels free. Uh, yeah, I think this was a, a, a pretty good record. Yeah. Um, I don't think he was in the pocket as the last record we played. Uh -huh. I mean, but overall, it was still a pretty good, uh, you know, record. I guess he was paying homage to Esco. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um, I like the production on it. You know, we had that type of vintage sound yeah. that we all love. I would give it this record probably 3.5, 3.6. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I'd probably go with the same, man. You know, I, you know, I don't think it was as much as, as in the pocket, but, you know, good entry. You know, just, I, I would say out of all of them, this is probably the throwaway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's it's not too much to take away, but, you know, not too much to add to as well. But, you know, did a good job to it, you know. Some, something to listen to, put it like that, you know. Right. But yeah, I would go within the same. I would go within a 3.5 3 with it too, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, but but overall, you know, I think you've done some good work. You know, overall with all the tracks, I probably go with a uh, 4.4 4 with all the tracks added together. What you say, bro? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think I, I I I think that's a fair uh fair assessment right there. I think I, I I go along with that. Yeah. You know, I think overall, you know, so far as the vocals, the sound quality, um, his delivery on the records, um, yeah, probably about a 4.4. Yeah, you done some good work, man. I, I would just say next time, man, like gear yourself more to towards the ladies. Or, you know what I'm saying? Bring out your Peruvian side a little bit more on the records. You know what I'm saying? Not to take away from the boom bap. That's always great. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? You can really exceed yourself more. Did, you know, gear more to the ladies and gear more into the, um, like the, the music director uh, records. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you got a, a lane within that too. You know what I'm saying? Though, you know, you can go either or, but both of those lanes is wide open, bro. It, it ain't too many unsigned artists, you know what I'm saying, is diving into either one of those bags, you know what I'm saying? But definitely reach out to the bad seed, you know, I, you know, I'm sure he would be greatly, you know what I'm saying, to mentor or whatever, he even maybe produce, you know, or whatever to lead you in the right direction, you know what I'm saying, and shoot some records back, man, straight up, but good work, man, you know what I'm saying, good work, all together, straight up, on the real, you got something else to add, bro? Nah, that's about it, I think you gave them some, uh, you know, some good advice toward the end, so yeah, just keep doing your thing, bro. Yeah, man. And, uh, 
You got any more records you want us to check out? Just send it in. Yeah, man. Thanks for sending something in. But yeah, you know, like I said, man, that hundred percent. I'm gonna be waiting for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, uh, before before two twenty four hits, you know, I, I want I want to hear that, man. You know, you know, if you gonna if you gonna boom back, if you gonna slap somebody with some boom back, slap somebody with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Add a little bit. Uh, a little bit of you know commercialized tone to it. Yeah, you got something, bro. I guarantee you. You know what I'm saying? I, I guarantee you. You know, and I ain't even charging you for that. That's something for free, <laughs> straight up. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how much of an ear that I got, straight up on the real. But nevertheless, you rocking with the freshest the cruise review on Four I Fly at T P. Out of here, yo. Get y'all some. Sunshine, man, some vitamin D. Yeah, you know what I'm saying on the real, you ladies. I ain't, I ain't talking about the other body. You can get you some of that too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, get you some natural. We out of here, yo. Yeah, it is.